Hi, Hopefuls. Thanks so much for coming back to the channel. So I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing wonderful. So today, um, really, this probably will be an addition of other little pieces of videos. I'm not sure. But we're getting ready to finally take our garden bins outside. I think that's what you call them. Wooden raised planters. <laughs> Jason um, has been really busy. And of course, I could have put them together. I tried, y'all. So I can do many things with my hands but putting stuff together is not one of the things i really like to do and i just i just i struggle with this and he struggled with it too because he had to take it apart he started it one day and then he had to do it take it apart because he had it backwards and the um directions were terrible also i think this was the first time aldi had these raised wooden um planters and I never seen this company before that they work with. I'm not sure, but um, they I'm sure next year they will improve it. Usually Audi is good at improving their items. And so it was, it was terrible. So anyway, he's been working a lot and he finally put them all together when he got off yesterday because our plants look like they're getting ready to die, y'all. So let me show you. We still haven't put our greenhouse together. I may put the greenhouse together today. Because I don't, I'm afraid if I just put the plants out there today may die, y'all. Because it's still about 40 some degrees at night. I don't think, I still need to look up the last frost date. I looked it up, but I forgot what it was. But it still gets a little chilly at night here in North Carolina. So anyway, let me take you outside. Um, we're going to put the soil in the planter. And I want to see how much soil I have so I can make sure that I have enough for... Um, both of them, which I don't think I do because I only have three bags before it gets low at Aldi. And then I probably need to buy some type of fertilizer. I don't know. I just see. All right. All right, y'all. So this is what the um, raised planter beds look like. It looks so much smaller outside. But um, probably as many plants we have, we probably gonna say, hey, Saya. <laughs> <laughs> probably should have gotten three but y'all this is it i'm just gonna have to use uh what's it called the totes and put some hole drill some holes in it these sterilite totes or rubbermaid totes or whatever so it comes with like this little trash bag like thing and i was wondering how the water drains but there are holes in them let's see yeah, it's like two holes over here. You may can rip it a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to read the directions, but um, it don't have really great directions. And then these little things come off. Probably just use some wood glue. But I thought it was because maybe to hold the bag. But no. Um, they're just like that. Oh, I can't get it back on. I'll get it on. So I put that back on. I got it. So we're gonna put some soil in it. We only have um, three bags of soil. This stuff's going to the dumpster. Three bags of soil right now. And we're gonna see how much we um, need. So what we did was we put it um, in between the houses right here. Um, this is our neighbor's fence. So, and our property line is like right there where the wheelbarrow is. So I didn't want to put it over here because it's a lot of rodents. Not, yeah, like um, deer, possums, some of everything y'all over here. And they said they're going to find it anyway. So I'm like, stop talking like that. They're going to find it anyway. And this would be easier too because our water hose is right there. So um, our grass needs to be cut. So how are you doing? <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. And I can easily just come out here. Um, it'd be neat if I had like some little pavers. But I don't think the water collects right here and stays either because I was asking Jason that and I, I don't think it is. So um, yeah. So if you wanna put this okay, out. So I did think to set up the tripod, <laughs> but it's in the house. But I got my little cute garden shoes on from Aldi. Like I'm doing some ashy. Good gracious. And that is one whole bag of garden soil. So I'm gonna put another bag. So we might have the perfect amount of soil. 
it said i think it holds like 200 is it 200 pounds i have to go look on instructions and caption it below you went and got your garden gloves yeah. we should have found some little kid gloves i wonder was it something that little garden kids said that they had at aldi mm -hmm. yeah the old tree need to start selling some little kid garden gloves that'll be cute Pat it down, y'all. <laughs> I don't, I'm afraid to put my pants out here because they might die because it's so. But you know what? Some of them they're overcrowded, so you know what? We shouldn't have probably put all the soil in here and put them in the individual greenhouse. What time is it? Because I had time to put the greenhouse together. Now, the question is where to put the greenhouse. Um, we could put it right. We might put it over there, no. over there, like where those little white rocks are. Right there. Yeah, I thought about that, but it'll, it'll be all right over there. You can close it up. So, so if anything, we'll have to take some of this dirt out and put it. it do, so I wasn't thinking, but take some of this dirt out and put it in the little individual pots I got from the Dollar Tree. So I guess now yeah, we'll go back in the house. I was wondering what time it was. It's only 525 and see how long it will take to put the greenhouse together. Um, yeah. So we'll do that. And I'm gonna put this gas world cover on. Hmm? Yeah, so we're just now opening up this greenhouse and it's lots and lots of pieces that's just what i want to show you guys um look how much pieces this is yeah it's lots and lots of pieces and we we'll probably have to put it together some wood outside um we have these pieces over here y'all every time i'm putting stuff together the side gets excited there's a little netting over there these little ones so we're gonna get ready to get something to eat and then we're gonna come back to it. It does have the numbers on it. I need to see that so I point it out to me. Try to wait a minute now. And this is now I forgot that we did never went and got the what are what are they called? The center blocks or bricks to hold it and weight it down so the wind won't blow it. So I probably will go and get that tomorrow at Home Depot. Number three is the short one. Hmm? Number three is the short one. Mm-hmm. Okay, y'all. So, I decided the greenhouse is getting ready to get dark. It looks a little bit lighter um, in the camera than it does in person <laughs> um, for me, but it's getting dark. So, um, what I did was I planted what we had in just about one whole tray so i'm hoping praying that my stuff doesn't die um look like my bean already snapped some of them already snapped because it was just too long uh they were in the little starter pods i don't even know what it's called container trays too long my collars over here my lettuce look so wimpy but um i pulled it out as gently as possible 
So we'll see y'all. I know some of you all who are gardening pros are laughing through the camera, but that's okay. That is okay because can't do everything. <laughs> can't be a pro at everything. So I'm getting ready to wash all the sides crocs. They look real dirty. We need to get a new garden hose. And this is what I have left. It's like some corn. Some of it I couldn't really see because it outgrown these little garden um, starter pie things. And some of them were dry, but most of them were moist or dry. I have chives left here. And I'm thinking about maybe putting them inside. I had to look at my directions on that little indoor um, herb garden or garden thing. And then my corn is still green, y'all. So maybe just look wimpy. Um, I may see if I can cover up the container garden over here, the, the planter stand uh, with the bin. So I'm gonna go in here and see if I have a bin and then take it off in the morning. But I know it's going to be a shock to my plants because I listen to a lot of videos. But, oh, I didn't say. So, the greenhouse has lots of lots and lots of um, pieces. Not lots and lots, but lots of pieces. I may put it together, but I have some stuff to do. But I hate all of our hard work just went down the drain. Um, go, going, it may go down the drain if my plants die. So, I'm going to look at a couple of videos on... Um, transplanting i'm probably gonna buy some of those um from amazon what are they called they're like little fabric pots and i saw some for 12 dollars. so i'm gonna get a couple of those i still have more stuff in the house to plant um washing off shot size shoes try not to turn this on full blast and it's a puddle and this water is cold i'm gonna have to scrub it mama said crocs has some kind of um cleaner too, which I didn't know. So I'm so rough. I'm gonna have to probably give them another pair. Summer ain't even started, y'all. Size all boy. So my other boys are too, but size all boy. Oh, this water warm. Surprisingly, probably because they was washing dishes. But size, woo. The all boy, y'all, all boy. I don't know if I should put these on the back porch or the front. Um. The Lord gave me a sense, gave, had a sense of humor when he gave us Josiah. And I think he did that because, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to scrub him. He did that so I can be content and I will not want that girl, y'all, because I'm done. I am done, done anyway. But I knew I was done any. <sighs> I said it twice. I knew I was done anyway, but... So I said, is somebody gonna take my shoes? I said, boy, can't nobody wear them shoes. My little garden, my little baby's outside. And let me show you the inside. Start and get two hanging plants. Is it two or one? Two hanging plants, cause I got a hook right there, I forgot. Y'all, that's my spray painting table. So, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm always spray painting something. Well, not lately, but I'm, Sometimes I do. Oh, let me get my charger. But I'm gonna get a hanging plant. Hopefully Walmart still has those six eighty eight hanging plants. And I want a fern for the um for the front. Alright, I'm gonna take this back in here and I'm gonna finish up the rest. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. And I think I'm gonna end this video right here. <laughs> And then I guess I give an update. Y'all give me some tips. I know y'all gonna come through with some tips. Cause I am. I am a beginner. With this. So I buy you can get the plant. Okay, so I have my grow light here. And they are long and they're leggy too. I watched some videos on how to correct that. And one guy was talking about, oh, you need a Chinese stick or not a Chinese um stick. no uh a Japanese chopstick or something and I was like I don't have that he was saying all the different tools you can use but the best one he wouldn't use this he wouldn't use that anyway y'all but this is what it looks like they were thriving and I think they just got 
You can save plants. But I did put them outside to try to harden them, y'all. And I think that's what happened one time. I went somewhere, it was on the weekend, and I left them out there too long. So let me turn this light off so you can see. There you go. Oh, that light got my eyes looking kind of. It's a little dark right here. I did research what does the mold mean. Um, yeah, the white looking mold. <laughs> and I saw two different things. I saw where it meant it was he healthy and then another one meant it was overcrowded. Because I know I probably put way too many seeds in them because I <laughs> wanted to make sure that it was going to grow. Um, I don't know what's in this one. I can't remember. It is not growing at all, but I'm just going to water these tonight. Um, some of this needs water, some of it don't. So I'm just, I see it's dry here and I'm going to plant this one in the other one. And then I'm going to get some of those, um, pots. I can't think of what they're called, but they're made out of fabric. I saw another gardener, a lot of her videos, and I probably will put a corn in there if it's not too late yeah but anyway y'all okay y'all so i almost forgot to turn on the camera so justin put together my greenhouse our greenhouse and um we're putting the stakes in so they came with some stakes so they're putting the stakes in the ground and then um i may get some cinder blocks or something um to weigh it down um, someone suggested to do that, but it's how many states? Well, it's a lot of money. It's about 12 of them. So that's what they doing right now. Probably been on how. Um, um, that's what it look like. <laughs> so I need to do some bit sad. We ain't shit to take it, no So my boo been very productive, boy. He been putting all my stuff together. He must feel a little guilty. He's leaning back, but it ain't gonna go to well. The ground ain't even. even. Yeah, I... You want it didn't look like that over there. So I might can bring out some of my pots for the tomatoes and stuff like that. Not tomatoes. Um, lettuce. So it's supposed to be the walk-in. And Aldi had two other ones recently. But this was the very first one. If you're just tuning in for the first time that they had for um, $39. So the winter time, people take this down, right? Saya, no, no, no. You can't dig it all in this one. You must have forgot where you were at. So y'all, this is what the plants look like. Um, I hope they they still look like they're green, but I hope they perk up. I'm gonna get get some fertilizer. I was right at Walmart and didn't look for any fertilizer. Um, I wanted to make sure it was draining because it looked like it was leaning that way. But I'm gonna add some more water on this side of the soil and. Excuse me, we haven't put anything over here yet. So I've been digging in, like he digging in a sandbox. And I told him he has to stop. So Jason's gonna put this, um, the cover on it. But my jasmine bush right here, I'm gonna get a new water hose too, y'all. I saw one today at Walmart. I just didn't know which length to get to. But the um, jasmine bush right here, I wanna get some kind of, it's not called a trellis, but some kind of arch. <coughs> My mama has a really pretty jasmine bush and hers is wooden and hers blossoms and it grows over her little, I don't know what they call it, is it a trellis, arch? But hers is made out of wood. I forgot what they call it, but anyway, y'all. It needs to be trimmed back and that would be so pretty to walk through here. What you doing with your little baby? <laughs> y'all, so I got him a haircut. He ain't got a haircut in a year or so. JJ, Josiah, and Justin went and got haircuts. Trail been, trail been going to the barber shop. He'll, he'll get his haircut. He don't care. He gonna get cold. He was trying to get a um, haircut as soon as the salon's open. What is this? Hmm. I think those are called sticker bras. I'm gonna ask you that when he's finished. Yeah. 
He doing something like my favorite. You stick on them. You stick on um. You step on them. They stick on. Stick to your clothes. Stick to your feet. Oh, I guess I should be helping. All right, y'all. So this is what the greenhouse looks like. Uh, I almost gave up on it, but I took it apart on the table, um, on the chair. What I show you guys, and um, just went ahead and put it together. He ain't doing no more work other than going to work. The next four days, he put together everything that I've been waiting. That's just been sitting in boxes for like weeks. So anyway, y'all. So here's your cover. Um, they have like these little Velcro things on it. Um, this was another little piece. So this is your rack. Um, I'm gonna leave this up, I believe, right now. I may bring out my lettuce tomorrow and put it in here. Um, someone did comment and say that you have to watch, I'm gonna do some research on the greenhouses. Watch uh, the greenhouses because it can uh, cook your cook your plants or cook your vegetables whatever you're trying to grow so i'm gonna watch that especially in the summertime of course but right now it's still chilly springtime here and like one day the temperature is warm and then the next day is not but it's not always like that north carolina's like humid and all this stuff so it just fluctuates a lot so that's our other little garden i hated to leave them out here yesterday <laughs> I'm calling them him and her. I had to leave my little babies out here yesterday because I was like, I don't know if they're going to survive because it was like 40-some degrees. Um, tonight's supposed to be 49. So I thought about putting um, some of them just broke. But I just hope that um, some of them will end up flourishing, y'all. Um, some broccoli here. Some peas somewhere. I think right through here. It said garden beans, but I think they were supposed to be peas. Like some of them snap, and I had to watch side too, y'all, because he just all boy, and you no, know, he was over here like digging, because he just forgot where he was at. Um, I have corn over here. I know it can't stay in that forever, but I'm going to get some of those. Um, I can't think what they call. Um, the lady on YouTube, I don't even know her name or her channel. She plants in containers, and they're like felt fabric pots. So I'm probably have to move it to those. And then some collars over here and some lettuce. And then we'll put the other tray over here um, tomorrow. I was finishing our bedroom today. So this is what the greenhouse looks like, y'all. I'm trying not to paint up too much because I don't want my neighbors to think that I am showing their house. So this was, the, again, a, the $39 greenhouse that they had first at Aldi. And then it seemed like in the next week or two, they came out with another one. So Jason was suggesting, suggesting, so you guys let me know, what do you do to keep the grass from growing up in here? Or you just don't worry about it? Um, there is someone that comes and cut our grass. And now he's going to be like, there's more stuff I got to cut around. But um, do you put like the weed barrier up here the black weed barrier or do you just put pavers in here or you just let the grass grow in i would love to know all right y'all bye